Imagine this. You're driving down the big highway, hands firm on the wheel. Under your feet sits raw power that's changing how trucks work forever. The Detroit DD16 2025 engine runs smoothly below you. It mixes new tech, top power, and better fuel use in ways that change what it means to haul big loads today. Maybe you own your own truck and you worry about fuel costs. Maybe you run a fleet and watch every penny spent on fixes. Or maybe you just love great machines. This beast is changing the future of trucks as we know them. But here's the thing. What makes the 2025 DD16 so new isn't just the facts and the numbers that you read about. There's something bigger going on that could forever change how trucks move goods across long roads. By the end of this video, you'll see why people who know trucks call this engine the game changer that diesel power has been waiting for. Now let's back up a bit. The DD16 has always been Detroit's biggest, strongest engine. But the 2025 model? Well, it's a whole new beast. Built to rule the toughest roads in America, this engine shows what diesel power can do when makers refuse to settle for good enough. The numbers tell part of the story. Up to 600 horsepower and a massive 2,500 pound-feet of torque. Think about that for a moment. That's enough turning force to move small mountains, or at least make them seem like tiny bumps. When you pull 80,000 pounds up steep hills or fight strong winds on flat land, that kind of muscle isn't just nice to have. You need it. But in 2025, raw power alone isn't enough anymore. What makes this engine special is how that power works for you. The new DD16 doesn't just growl and roar like old diesel engines. It acts with care, giving you exactly what you need when you need it, in the most fuel-saving way. It's like going from a big hammer to a fine tool without losing any of the punch. Now you might think, great, another strong engine, what else is new? Well, that's where things get good. The 2025 DD16 isn't just an engine. It's the brain of a full power system that thinks ahead of the road. For the first time, Detroit has fully joined the DD16 with their top DT12 gearbox and the full Detroit Assurance suite. What does this mean in plain talk, though? Well, the engine communicates with the gearbox, which communicates with the safety tools, which talk to the road ahead. It's a full team where every part knows what the others are doing. Picture going over a hill. Now, before you even touch the brake, the system has already shifted down smoothly, using the engine brake at just the right time to keep control. Or think about going up a steep hill and feeling the gearbox drop to the right gear while the engine sets its power just right for the climb. Now, this isn't make-believe. This is what happens when an engine becomes part of something bigger. And here's where drivers really feel the change. Noise in the cab. The 2025 DD16 runs so smooth and quiet that some old-time drivers have called Detroit to check if their engine was even on. But don't worry, though. That quiet run doesn't mean it's lost any of its lion's roar. It just saves that power for when you need it most. Now let's talk about the biggest worry in the room. Clean air rules. The EPA's 2027 rules are coming like dark clouds on the edge of the sky. Many makers are rushing to meet them. Detroit? They're already there with the 2025 DD16. The engine has a fully new exhaust gas flow system that keeps burn temps just right. Add that to the super high push fuel spray system that hits nearly 40,000 PSI, and you get fuel spray so fine it's almost like mist. The result? Near perfect burning that means less dirt in the air without losing any power. In simple words, while other makers are asking, how will we meet these rules, Detroit is asking, well, what's next? That's the kind of forward thinking that sets leaders apart from those who just follow. Now let's talk about where the tires touch the road. What does it feel like to drive with this powerful beast? In 2025, long-haul drivers aren't just turning wheels and moving sticks. They run rolling data centers, and the DD16 puts more control at their fingertips than ever. First, there's how fast it acts. When you push that gas pedal, there's no weight, no pause. Just smooth, quick power that pushes you back in your seat. The power curve is so flat that if you're going slow at 1100 RPM or faster at 1500, you've got that full 2500 pound feet ready to work for you. That means fewer gear shifts, better fuel use, and less tired drivers from always hunting for the right gear. Then there's the stopping power. The new built-in engine brake gives up to 600 horsepower of stopping force. That's like adding a second engine just to slow down. 
Coming down steep hills that used to make drivers grip the wheel hard now feels as safe as driving on flat ground. But maybe most wow is how quiet the cab has become. Detroit builders have cut inside noise by nearly 40% from older models. Well, why does this matter? Because after a 10-hour driving day, that noise turns right into driver fatigue. Less noise means more alert drivers, safer roads, and happier stops. But let's get down to the real talk. Numbers that matter to anyone running a truck. In trucking, every penny counts, and this is where the 2025 DD16 might change the game most of all. First, there's fuel use. Detroit claims a 7% better rate than past models. That might not sound huge until you actually do the math. For a truck rolling 100,000 miles each year, that's saving about 1,000 gallons of diesel. At today's prices, we're talking about $4,000 to $5,000 per truck per year just in fuel savings. Then there's the maintenance. The DD16 now has longer times between service stops that push routine checks from 50,000 miles to 75,000 miles. Fewer stops means more runtime, more miles, and more money. But it goes deeper than just changing oil less often. The 2025 model comes with Detroit Connect data tools that watch over 400 engine points in real time. This isn't just data picking, it's smart guessing. The system can find likely problems before they become roadside breakdowns. Now this lets fleet bosses plan fixes during set stop times rather than dealing with huge fails on the road. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why are we even talking about diesel engines in 2025? Isn't all stuff going electric? Well, it's a fair question, and one that needs a real answer. And yes, electro trucks are coming. Yes, they show the long-term future of moving goods. But no, they're not ready to take over long road trips just yet. Range limits, lack of charging points, and weight trade-offs still cause real problems for battery trucks in heavy work. This is right where the DD16 fits in best. It's the perfect bridge tool. It's clean enough to meet today's and near-future rules, strong enough to handle the tough jobs, and real-world enough to work with the fuel stops we already have. It's not about fighting the electric future. It's about giving the best fix for today while that future keeps growing. And here's something Detroit hasn't said out loud yet, but truck pros have been whispering about. Behind closed doors, they've been testing a mild mix system joined with a DD16. Early word says this system could make fuel use better by another 8% by catching energy during braking and giving electric help during high need times. It's the best of both sides. Diesel trust with electric saving. So, how does the 2025 DD16 stack up against what else is out there? Well, let's be plain. It's leading the pack, and by quite a bit. You see, Cummins has their X15, which is a solid worker, but still falls short of the DD16's torque by nearly 200 pound-feet. The Packard MX13 gives good fuel use, but just can't match the raw power needed for most heavy loads. And while Volvo's D13 brings new tech to the table, it's playing in a slightly smaller weight group. What truly sets the DD16 apart from these other makers isn't just single specs, it's the whole team work plan. While other makers focus on making better engines, Detroit focuses on making better moving systems where the engine is just one key part working well with all else. It's like the gap between buying food bits and being served a full meal by a top cook. I mean, sure, you can put great parts from many places, but there's something special about a fix made to work as one whole thing from the ground up. Let's look even wider and think about what the 2025 DD16 means for all truck work. You see, we're at a crazy cross point where old power types face new tech push, yet must keep growing to meet what we need now. The DD16 makes a strong point that diesel isn't dead. It's growing. By pushing the edge of what's possible with fuel burn, Detroit makes sure that truck firms have real, money-smart picks during this time of change. Now, this isn't just about selling engines. It's about giving steady ground to a work field that moves nearly 70% of all goods in America. Now there's also the fuel stop question. While we work to build out electric charge points and gas spots, the diesel fuel stops stay strong and sure. The DD16 lets firms use this edge while planning for what comes next. It's a real world fix to a hard problem. And let's not forget the people who drive. The truck world faces a big driver shortage, with counts saying we'll need nearly 160,000 more drivers by 2028. Trucks with the DD16 and its full systems make the job more comfy less tiring, and more nice for new drivers. Yeah, sometimes, the most key tech is the kind that makes human lives better. So where does Detroit go from here? 
Well, if industry rumors are to be believed, the innovation pipeline is far from empty. There's talk of AI-optimized combustion mapping that would customize engine performance based on individual driving styles. Imagine an engine that learns how you drive and adjusts itself accordingly. More efficient, more responsive, and more intuitive with every mile. Engineers are also working on driver adaptive shift logic that will personalize transmission behavior based on both driver preferences and route characteristics. The system would recognize that driver A prefers to let the engine work harder on grades, while driver B likes to downshift earlier and would adjust accordingly. Perhaps most intriguing are the whispers about hydrogen-compatible variants being developed as long-term hedges against whatever direction the regulatory environment takes. The ability to modify the DD16 architecture to work with alternative fuels would give Detroit unparalleled flexibility in an uncertain future. So, are these technologies real or just industry gossip? Detroit isn't saying officially, but based on their track record of staying ahead of the curve, I wouldn't bet against them. So, will the Detroit DD16 2025 change the trucking industry? The answer is both yes and no. No single product, no matter how innovative, can transform an industry overnight. Change comes gradually, through thousands of decisions made by fleet managers, owner-operators, and drivers across the country. But what the DD16 does represent is a clear vision of where trucking needs to go. More efficient, more integrated, more data-driven, and ultimately, more sustainable. It's not just an engine, it's a roadmap for how diesel power can remain relevant and essential in a rapidly evolving transportation landscape. Well, that's all for this video. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because we'll be following these developments closely, and what comes next might just redefine everything you thought you knew about trucking. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.